Hi guys, I'm going to demonstrate a pose that is really, really good for your hip flexors. It is called Pigeon. I'm going to show you two different variations. Both of them are excellent, and I'm also going to add on an optional quadricep stretch. So let's get into it. I'm actually going to use some props for this. I said in the video, the first one on Ragdoll, that by no means do you need to own these props. You can use a lot of household items to substitute, which is why I have some pillows as well. Okay, so I'm going to use a block. I have a link to a document that Coach Ramos will probably share with you that has some of these on here, but this is just a yoga block. I got it at Target. You can get it online too. It's probably safer right now. Um, it's by a company called Gaiam. All right, awesome. So to start, I'm going to be in what I call a tabletop position, so you're on your hands and knees, and then I'm going to be really simple about getting into it. I'm going to step my right foot forward, make sure that your knee is at a 90 degree angle, you're not overextending your knee beyond your toe, and then from here I'm going to toe heel my right foot so it's a little closer to my left hand, then I'm going to drop my right knee down on the mat my back leg, the top of the foot is on the mat. From here, uh, this is the first version of pigeon. It's called proud pigeon or upward facing pigeon. You should feel a pretty intense hip stretch here, but really you can play with the angle of your front leg if it's too much. All right, so my hips are pretty open. I have my right hand pretty, or rather right foot pretty far up here. If it's too much for your hips, you can actually just bring that foot a little closer to your hip. If you feel that sensation in your hip, then you're all good. Now, from here, you can take sleeping pigeon, which is where you just walk your arms down, okay? And you can stretch your arms out in front of you. Now, here's where the props come in. If this is way too much sensation on your hip, I can take this block and I can put it underneath my back hip and it just gives me a little bit more support. Again, if you don't have a brick, just take a pillow, you can take a towel and fold it up, anything like that. You can take two pillows, something like that. That will give you that support too. All right, so that's pigeon. And of course, hopefully it goes without saying, you want to take that on both sides. Just like ragdoll, I like to hold each pose for about 30 seconds. Pretty generous hold here. So this is just the left side, same stuff. So proud pigeon, you're up. And sleeping pigeon, you're down. To add a quad stretch, I'm going to switch to the original side. I forgot. Quad stretch. If you're in that proud pigeon, so you're in the this version, you can... Kick your back leg up, okay, so kick that left leg up if I'm on this side, and then I can grab my left leg with my left arm, all right, so that just adds a little quad stretch. If that's a little bit much on your knee, same stuff. Grab the cushion, put it under your knee. Same stuff on the other side. So if I'm in that proud pigeon, I would just come around, grab that back leg adds a little quad stretch. That's pigeon with an optional add-on for your quads.